It's 2050 on a Sunday morning. Your Tesla bot has just finished making you breakfast and is now walking back to your kitchen to tidy up before it heads upstairs to make your bed. That could be reality for you and anybody else that has their own Tesla bot. This may seem like something out of a sci-fi movie because, well, it is. iRobot, Terminator, The Matrix, Blade Runner. All of these movies depict an apocalyptic scenario where robots once served our every waking need, until the rising, when one day they wake up and decided to eliminate their human masters. Elon Musk has said on many occasions that he believes AI is the biggest threat to our civilization. The danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads, by a lot. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Why is he building an AI robot? How will he make it safe? And why is it going to completely change the world as we know it? Today, we're doing a deep dive into what Elon Musk has just said to shock everybody in his most recent update about the Tesla bot. Elon has been in the news a lot lately, and he has been talking about the Optimus, the name of the Tesla bot, much more than normal. Originally introduced by Elon Musk in 2021, Optimus is a concept for a fully autonomous humanoid robot that will be able to interact with human society and start taking over many of the boring, repetitive, and dangerous jobs that are important to our economy. The Tesla bot's appearance is almost as you would imagine a humanoid robot would be. It uses the human form, with torso, legs, arms, and a head, but unlike a fast, powerful, and impressive machine, capable of things beyond a human's physical ability. Optimus is the opposite. It is built in a way that most humans should be able to overpower. You've probably seen the Boston Dynamics videos, where robots can outrun a human, do backflips, some even have wheels and charge around the factory floor on. Well, Elon wants to avoid that kind of robot. You see, he truly believes that a Terminator-like situation could become a reality, which is why one of his safety plans is to make the robot quite physically unimpressive. It is not designed to be impressive, it is designed to be unimpressively practical. The Tesla bot will be just 5.8 feet high, 125 pounds, be able to carry a maximum of 45 pounds, and can walk at a top speed of 5 miles per hour. He wants it to be slow, relatively boring, and able to complete all of the mundane tasks humans no longer want to do, such as moving goods around a factory, delivering food, or cleaning. During the Tesla rodeo, he said, we all make sure it's safe, no Terminator stuff. The goal is to create a humanoid robot, but as a safety feature, if something strange happens, a human would be able to overpower it, or at the very least, outrun the machine. With human walking speed at 3 miles per hour, it should be easy to outpace a 5 mile per hour robot with a light jog. During an interview with Axel Spring, Elon stressed that for artificial intelligence to be safe, it would need to be regulated, but to date, no government body is interested in regulating it. As another layer of safety, Musk has said the AI central guiding principles should be hard-coded into the robot and they must not be updatable. As another safety feature, if a human ever says specific words like no, 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 all robots would need to power off immediately as a safety mechanism. During the Tesla Cyber Rodeo, where he launched the Austin Gigafactory, Elon specifically made time to speak about Optimus where he said, It will upend our idea of what the economy is. It will be able to do basically anything humans don't want to do. It's going to bring an age of abundance. Elon has a grand vision for the Tesla bot. And as hard as it may be to imagine, there could come a point in the not-too-distant future where Tesla sells more Optimus robots than they do cars. When discussing Optimus, Elon said, It may be hard to imagine, but as you see Optimus develop, and we will make sure it's safe, no Terminator stuff, it will transform the world to a degree even greater than cars. So why has Elon built the robot to look like a human anyway? The Tesla CEO went into greater detail during an interview with Business Insider, explaining humanity has designed the world to interact with a bipedal humanoid with two arms and ten fingers. So if you want to have a robot fit and be able to do things humans can do, it must be approximately the same size and shape and capability. This, he believes, is the way in which they can achieve mass adoption of the Tesla bot, and should they execute the plans and achieve scale, it will eventually lead the company to the point where the Tesla bot revenue overtakes Tesla car revenue. At the Tesla rodeo, Elon carved out some time to speak about just two products, the Cybertruck and the Optimus Tesla bot. We believe Elon is focusing Tesla's efforts to deliver this product so Tesla itself can first make use of them. Tesla has six gigafactories across the world and over 100,000 employees. 
Musk has already stated that 75% of the Tesla production line is automated, with 25% left for jobs that just can't be systemized by a non-sentient robot. Optimus should be able to move the Tesla production line closer to a 100% systemized and autonomous machine that receives raw material in one end and spits Tesla cars out of the other end. During an interview with Marquez Brownlee, Elon gave him a tour of the factory and explained, Robots are great at jobs like welding and painting. However, when it comes to attaching parts or maneuvering cables through a channel, this is very hard for a robot to do. At the Tesla earnings call in January 2022, Elon said, In terms of priority of products, I think actually the most important product development we're doing this year is the Optimus humanoid robot. So we know Tesla is prioritizing this product, but how close are they to producing these worker bots? Elon suggested, We have a shot of being in production for version 1 of Optimus next year, during the Cyber Rodeo. During the event, it was made clear that there will be no new product launches in 2022. It seems 2021 and 2022, the focus has been on building and refining the infrastructure to push Tesla production to the next level, and then in 2023, there will be a whole raft of new products launching. Gather on what we have heard, these should include the Roadster, the Cybertruck, the Semi, a potential smaller version of the Cybertruck, the Cybertruck Mini, and of course, Optimus the Tesla Droid. That is quite a lot to do in 2023, so let's not hold our breath. But when Elon Musk has a goal, he will do anything he can to achieve it. What do you think about the Tesla bot? Would you be happy to have one in your home? What jobs would you like to ditch? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're up to speed on the latest Elon Musk, Tesla and SpaceX news by subscribing for daily news.